Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your weekly reading. This is from July 7th through July 14th. So, 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, so July is the seventh month of the year, um, of the calendar year, and then the seventh day. Today is the seventh day. So, the, se the significance of the number seven is that it actually is significant for completeness and also for perfection, both spiritually and physically. So, I'm looking for some good news for you for all of my Aries. So what do we know about our Aries? Now the reason why I like to start out with the characteristics for each one of the astrological um, signs is because I want you to remember even during all this retrograde and a lot of things happening, I want you to remember exactly who you are in the midst of all of this stuff happening because we can't control other people around us. We can only control our own actions and how we respond to them, right? So with that, we know that Aries are fire signs. You all are on this continuous path of spirituality and actually taking action, right? And so that's a beautiful thing. Also, um, you all are strong leaders. You have an amazing self-confidence. You have a lot of positive energy. You're confident. You're optimistic. You're honest. You're passionate, courageous. Um, you're brave. Um, if I didn't say creative, you're very creative. Um, you have a lot of positive energy. Uh, let's see, you're optimistic, honest, passionate. So there's a lot of wonderful things about you, Aries. And so I don't want you to allow anybody else to trip you up, including yourself, because, you know, you have a moon sign, a rising, a Venus, and a whole host of other things that's going on. And that's for each one of us internally. So I don't want you to be tripped up or distracted um by who by who you really are okay so you have some wonderful character traits and i want you to just really really stay focused but again today is the seventh month seventh day of that seventh month and so this is a number of completeness and perfection so we want to get into your reading we're going to go right straight to your reading so most high god in the universe please give me some information for my aries my fire sign aries as it relates to their spirituality and them taking action like what areas in their life do they need to take action in also as it relates to love that's self-love that's romantic love that's family love also in areas of money um, in areas of wealth, in areas of creativity, their emotional state, you know, all of that. And so let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading, Aries. I am so excited for you because, like I said, you know, a lot of wonderful things are happening for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. A lot of wonderful things are happening for a lot of people. And I say, mm hmm, and I say, look at the cards, you know, I'm like, wow, okay, all right, makes sense. You have some major arcanas here. All right, so let's put all this stuff into, let's, let's put all these cards in perspective, okay? This is the lover's card, all right? We also have the star card. We also have, okay, we have the temperance card. We have the star card. Um, I wanna make sure we put all of this in perspective. So some wonderful things are happening with you, you know, just right off. And we also have the moon card, okay? All right, so let's put all of this in perspective, okay? All right. So when I look at this, I see that there is, um, there is new love. There is a new love. Remember when I say love, I mean it could be self-love. It could be a new person love. It could also um, mean... A, a renewed sense of love in your family okay so love doesn't necessarily just mean romantic love but this is the lover's card right and so um one when i look at this and i look at um i look at this um this particular card here is that i see for you that there is a a, re, a renewed sense of self-love that's first and foremost that's what i get first and foremost that there is a stronger love for yourself and i don't want people to misunderstand loving yourself as being something like being cocky and arrogant it has nothing to do with this this is just love in its purest form like you just took a look at yourself in the mirror one day, you know, um, and said, you know what? I really love myself. I don't know if Aries, if you got some love quartz, I mean, some uh, rose quartz or love crystal, 
like this and you just decided you know what i'm asleep with this and i really love myself like i really really love myself i have no reason to be you know upset or hurt or down or anything i just really love myself so i look at this card right here this is the knight of pentacles this represents harvest dedication routine this is attached to the capricorn taurus virgo so you could have that in your chart right um or it could represent a person whether it's you or somebody else that um represents that's connected to your harvest your routine somebody that's um you know dedicated right so i'm gonna just put that pause right there for just a second but this is like i said this is more of a self-love because you know in order to really really attract the love that you want you're going to have to first learn how to love yourself and you've gotten that okay aries that's what you got and then this temperance card your life is in full balance your star is shining very very bright but it's shining brightest amongst darker energies like low vibrating energies it's really just shining bright and so when you decided to love yourself more like really re remember who you were like those character traits that I shared with you before, when you realize who you were and you realize I've come through a lot of stuff that made me stronger and my life really is in full balance and I'm shining bright like this star right here. This is attached to the Aquarius. Um, and I have this free spirit about me. This is a, the star is attached to the, to Uranus, which is also Aquarius' ruling planet. But you have this inner freedom now that you remember who you were. You know your life is in full balance. You're actually looking back at your shadow self. You're looking back through all the mountains that you had to come through. And you're just like, wow, I really did come through a lot. Okay, you really should celebrate and give yourself a hand clap. Because you've been through a lot, Aries. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. Right? And so this right here, this seven of wands. And the wands energy is, um, like I said, that is the fire energy. That's the represent um, spirituality and taking action. What I want you to do, Aries, is protect your gift, your spiritual gifts at all costs. You're on this new journey of self-discovery. It's like you really hit the reset button and you're like, you know what? I love myself even more now. Like I, I had to remember who I was for a second um, because the things in life can cause you to kind of get off balance. That's why I wanted to make sure I start off my readings by reminding people who they are. Like you're all these wonderful you have all these wonderful qualities, but sometimes people misunderstand that, you know, and so, but you're a fire sign, you're a person that's going to take action, like take action, but you're also a very spiritual sign too. And so, um, like I said, you're in that fire element. So you're going to be taking action by default. You're also very spiritual by default. And so I need you to protect your gifts at all costs. I really need you to protect your gifts at all costs. But you're looking back at your former life saying your former self, not necessarily life, but you're looking back at your former self and you're saying, because you've turned over a new leaf and you've turned the pages and you're in another chapter right now. And so you really had to remember who you were and remember how wonderful your life is you know and and so i don't want you to allow other people because like i said these these planets being in retrograde right now especially if they're ruling if the astrological sign the astrological signs attached to these ruling planets if there's some miscommunication going on right now um if there is um you know people just kind of sort of want to back away from you because they need some space because they're on their own spiritual journey you know what i'm saying to you aries is don't take anything too personal okay because a lot of people are on their spiritual journey just like you are but i want you to protect your spiritual gifts at all costs i'm serious protect them at all costs because you have a lot to offer people you really really are a star you have a lot to offer people, but I need you to protect them at all costs. Because what one thing about the planets being in retrograde right now and them being so powerful, the planets that are in retrograde right now and being as powerful as they are, is that a lot of people who don't watch tarot, they don't understand um, numerology, they don't understand astrology and, and, and psychic um, gifts, they don't, they don't, you know, they don't... Um, recognize those things or they may be afraid of them because fear really is at the root of all of it you know of them not understand they may not even understand why they're going through what they're going through right now and so as a result of them not understanding why they're going through what they're going through right now but see aries you get it you understand you're in a spiritual journey and so that right there is um if nothing else 
this is on, this is your harvest you know that's why I'm saying it's not necessarily about another person usually when I pull this is about another person but I'm, when I'm not getting that it's usually it this is about you recognizing like you going into this deeper part of yourself and recognizing how blessed you really really are and staying focused you know see how focused this person looks but this also represents harvest. It represents dedication. It represents routine. That's your journey to money and wealth. Okay, that's that is. And so this is you right here. And again, this is masculine, feminine energy. I don't want to get caught up male, female. But this is masculine, feminine energy. This is you protecting your gifts at all costs. I want you to keep protecting your gifts at all costs, Aries. I'm serious because... Like I said, these planets um, being in retrograde right now, and some of them are stationed direct, a lot of people don't know what's going on with them, and they don't know why, but we know why, right? <laughs> so what I want you to do, when I say protect your gifts at all costs, I mean, and, and I'm, I'm going to share some things with you, um, get you some pyrite, here's some pyrite, I have a lot of crystals here, get you some pyrite, this is what, the, what it looks like. Um, I want you to get pyrite stone. This is going to shield you from negative energy. Also, it is luck for attracting abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Okay. All right. Also, um, you know, loving yourself more. This is what this rose course is. Rose course, forgive yourself, love yourself. Like this is, this is really about you. This is about protecting your gifts at all costs. You really, really don't have time to be concerned with people, you know, and them not understanding why, what's happening with them because their planet may be in retrograde right now. Okay. You also have the green avatarine, which is the, um, um, optimism and luck card. So this is a heart healer. It's a comforter, you know, um, this will help this will bring well-being and emotional calm to your life also right this is what i'm saying it when when you're having to protect your gifts at all costs it can cause a great amount of anxiety and almost hostility because you're like wait hold on <laughs> I'm I'm loving myself up. I'm in, I'm in my 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 good feelings and here I have to constantly protect see all of these wands coming up against you but see you're in fight stance like you you're about you're about that life okay Aries like okay don't start nothing won't be nothing and I'm going to protect my gifts at all costs and I don't care who it is that's that's the kind of mindset you're in right now because you feel good you know you're a star your life is in full balance you loving yourself harder you looking back oh, look at these big mountains you had to come through and you looking back at your shadow self look when I tell you somebody will get <laughs> I'm sorry, Aries, but I'm telling you, sometimes the, the visual messages that I get are just so funny. Sometimes I, I have to kind of pause real quick to kind of stop myself from saying it. But I'm telling you, Aries, you will take this wand and hit somebody in the head with it because you're not choking around. You're like, listen, I'm protecting my gifts at all costs. And look, if you happen to become a casualty as a result of stepping in my way, that's just what's going to happen. Okay, because I need to protect my gifts at all costs. I don't have time for this. I'm in a good place right now and I don't have time for the shenanigans. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have here. We have the devil card. This is the fear. This is a... um. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is fear. This is doubt. This is also um okay, let me get this just get this this amethyst right here. This is um addiction release. Okay, somebody is addicted to you. Look, this is addiction release. Get you some amethyst, okay, Aries. This is addiction release. Somebody's addicted to you, right? This is what I'm talking about, having to fight off this madness. This is I'm gonna put this right here. Let me just put this right here. Just so I can refer to it in just a second. Um, <clears throat> right here, you have the um, you have the two of pentacles. This is the next card to come up. I'm gonna get to this this devil card in a second, but I need to put it up there because it's in one of the major arcanas. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles right here. This two of pentacles represents your life being in balance, you prioritizing things. This is your daily affairs. This is your money and your wealth, okay? This is attached to the earth signs. This is the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what this is attached to. You also have seven of cups. So your life is so gravy right now. A lot of things are happening right now. Like you have that little glitch in there where you, you have to fight off, 
you know, people who are just like addicted to you at this point. Um, but you have a lot of things working in your favor. Your heart is in the right place. You know, you have your crystals all supercharged up from that full moon that we just had. You just, you're just in a, you're just in a good, good headspace, right? Like you have turned over this chapter. This is a new beginning for you. You've turned over this chapter and some people just don't get it. But check this out. Listen, Aries. This seven of pentacles right here is you investing in yourself. This is why, this is what's setting some, setting some people off, okay? Um, you have used your water, your tears as water to water, to make you stronger. This right here represents strength. This is your, this is your fruits of your labor. So people trying to, you know, constantly cause you all kind of stress of having you in this position right here, fighting people off, hair blowing the wind with your, your wand in your hand, like, okay, get back. You know, they don't realize that in your quiet time, you're just like, okay, I just want to be happy. I just, you know, my life is good right now. I just want to remain happy. And so, but they don't realize every time they do this, it's putting another pentacle on your tree. Look, pentacle, your your journey to money and um, your money and wealth, okay? So every time people try to hurt you, and look at this on here also, this is, this is um, temptation, snakes but see they're so instant the snakes are so insignificant they really should just stop they real i'm serious aries they really should stop trying to tempt you um and the tempting could be you know you wanting to vibrate at a lower frequency so that you can say what you really need to say to them and just be done with it and get it over with but listen protect your gifts at all costs protect your gifts at all costs we also have the six of cups okay um the cups is that emotional side that that emotional piece that's your creativity your your emotional thing get back to what's familiar to you get back to that time of innocence for you what's nostalgic for you okay i really really want you to get this because I really want you to understand and get this because that's your thing. Like you're a star. There's something that you that you started out probably when you were very, very young. That's very, very innocent for you. That's very nostalgic for you. And I need you to protect that. That is your baby, right? And then also here we have the five of pentacles, right? Money and wealth. This is why you need to protect your gifts at all costs and not vibrate at a low frequency when people start acting crazy and trying to attack you, attack you, Aries, is because you're so close to this vault opening, right? This is more money. Like right now, you're doing good, but I'm talking about, you, we're talking about vault money, okay? We don't need any doubts. We don't need any fears, no nothing. I'm telling you, protect your gifts at all costs, okay? So this also represents abandonment, misfortune, loss. This is money and wealth, right? <clears throat> See how you're sitting right here in front of this vault? Okay, you are only steps away from having this type of money, vault-like money. Your life is good right now. Trust me, you're a star. But see, because there are people who keep who are addicted to you. This is an addiction card. That's why I say get you some amethyst. This is addiction release. Get you some amethyst and sleep with that amethyst because it's ameth amethyst. Excuse me, because it's also a um, it's also a sleep aid. And you want to release that person from being addicted to you. You don't want to have to keep being in this fight stance to protect your gifts. Again, what I'm keep getting for you is don't start nothing, won't be nothing. And this is this is ridiculous. This is actually this um this devil card is attached to the Capricorn. So somebody has Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, you know, that is, you know, trying to create challenges for you. And again, because I know what high vibrating astrological signs look like, this is somebody who is vibrating at a low frequency. They really are. They're vibrating at a low frequency. They are addicted to you. They get they're trying to cause all kind of challenges in your life. But listen, it don't matter because you know what your life looks like. You're you're on the you're at the beginning of a new chapter of your life and it feels great for you. And so I don't want you to allow people to um and this is again about self love and it's actually stronger, stronger, stronger than it's ever been before. There's a lot of abundance, there's a lot of wonderful things happening for you by the way i want to let you know i'm using the um, mystic monday cards this is a tarot cards and i also have some oracle cards too that i'm reading using today we have the um 
Moonology Oracle cards, and I also have the Sacred Vision Oracle cards as well. So we're going to be pulling from those as well. So let's get more into, you know, those as well. Okay, yeah, but I, I need you to protect your gift at all costs because you have an amazing gift, something that's very nostalgic to you, something that um, represents a time of innocence. You know, I need you to protect that. I need you, need you, need to protect it because it is attached to money. But I also want you to, to understand that there is somebody who's addicted to you, which is crazy, you know, because like I said, I know what a high vibrating Capricorn looks like, but somebody who is low vibrating, then I'm getting Capricorn energy is just not good, not good at all, you know, for you. Um, and they're going to continue creating challenges for you, but get you some amethyst and and breathe your intentions on your amethyst your intentions are to release them from being addicted to you and go on about their own business and recognize tell, matter of fact if you know a capricorn is vibrating at a low frequency and they are um they are creating a challenge for you aries what i want you to do is send them to my channel and tell them to watch their um you know watch their reading for this week because they have an amazing reading for this week that's why i know it's somebody that's vibrating at a low frequency it just doesn't even have to be that way you know sometimes you know just letting a person know like listen i know this is this is really not you that's not even your character traits just let just well, uh, put a that will that right there letting a person know that's not even your character trait that may be my experience with you because you don't really know you don't really know me like that but um showing a person a mirror of themselves and saying hey this is how this is how you you are being perceived like this is how people see you is sometimes all they need to hear for them to say, oh, wow, I did not even realize. Because look, what's happening with the Capricorn right now is that their, um, their planet is in retrograde right now. Yep, their planet is in retrograde. Saturn is in retrograde. So it could be a Capricorn or it could be an, Air, an Aquarius on this cusp. Uh, with, with It could be an Aquarius that's on the cusp with capricorn tendencies and they don't even realize that their planet is in retrograde right now isn't that crazy when people don't know that their planet their ruling planet is in retrograde and they don't even know why they're doing the things that they're doing they don't know why they're acting the way you know that they're acting um but again capricorns i mean saturn being in retrograde right now the rule that's a planet of that's a ruling planet of time and karma so hear me clear when i say this aries if you're dealing with a low vibrating capricorn or an aquarius on the cusp of a capricorn this is a karmic time for them right now so trust me with karma karma is a very very meticulous um keeper of of uh deeds words thoughts and deeds so what's happening right now with um with Saturn being retrograde, as it relates to the Capricorn, if you're dealing with somebody that's vibrating at a low frequency, um, karmic debts are being sorted out right now, okay? And so it's sorting out blending the past debt of what they did to you. I want you to be clear, the past debt with the, with the present and future. So their karma is coming back around. This is why I need you to keep your vibrations very, very high, Aries, because you, you don't even need to... Like I said, protect your gifts at all costs. Um, and and because if they're addicted to you, first of all, uh, addictions are unhealthy. Period. Okay, but they are addicted to you. And I don't know if this uh, if this is a love interest, a colleague, a coworker. Somebody is just fixated on you, which is absolutely insane. Because there's some wonderful things happening for Capricorns right now. But like I said, their planet is in retrograde. So for the Capricorns who have been acting out. Um, and also look, Jupiter is, Jupiter is in Capricorn right now. So Jupiter is that, you know, they, let me tell you what they could be missing out on by fixating on you. They could be missing out on some good luck, some optimism, some success, some, um, some awesome power that they have. They are in, in generosity. They are missing out on all of this from fixed by fixating on you and acting like a fool. You know, this is, this is what, what they're missing out on. But listen, let me tell you something, Aries. That's listen, you don't have to tell them anything. All you need to do is protect your gifts at all costs, okay? Because 
you know, for some reason they want to keep coming up against you and, and doing things to you, but they don't even realize that karma, whew, I'm going to tell you something. That's why I tell people all the time, listen, keep your vibrations high because that karma is no joke. It'll come back in ways that you never even thought, dreamed, or even imagined. And you're like, oh my gosh, why is all of this stuff happening to me? But it's because you put something out there and it's not that it's coming back to you. It's already done to you, right? So keep your vibrations high, Aries. You know, like I said, protect your gifts at all costs, but get you some amethyst. Release their addiction, whatever their addiction or fixation is on you. I don't know if they're just causing you all kinds of stress, strain, and issues or whatever. Um, but what I'm getting is that somebody at work. That's what I'm getting. This is I'm getting somebody in your workplace. Um, let's get into an oracle card. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Let me see if I can put this up here somewhere. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay, so this is the devil card. This here. I saw I need to start like kind of shifting some things around. Do I have any more major arcanas? No. Yeah. You know, protect your gifts at all costs. This is what I need you to do. I'm very, very serious. Please protect your gifts at all costs because you don't need, you don't want um, somebody else's, um, them trying to attack you to cause you to, um, to miss out on you know but but you're not going to miss out on it okay i just want to say that you're not going to miss out on it so this is what i want you to do aries this right here this full moon in leo don't let pride get in your way you know know who you are um but this is also saying that a friendship could be ending you know so it could be somebody that you work with that have Capricorn in their charts that you don't even realize they're fixated on you. It could be doing stuff to you that you don't, you're not even aware. They see that you're happy, like you've turned over a new leaf. You are like more confident or whatever the case may be and still be magnificent. Still be you, still be magnificent, you know, and if they have a problem with you being magnificent, that is really their problem. It really is their problem. I don't want you to be fearful, nor do I want you to doubt anything because that devil card is also attached to fear and doubt. I don't want you to do that at all, but I want you to protect your gifts at all costs because there's a lot at stake here. This big money actually at stake here uh, attached to that. But um, again, protect your gifts at all costs because this person... I mean, they, they really are a piece of work. They are really a piece of work. And it's like, oh my goodness. You know. Oof. Wow. Like I said, um, like I said, Aries, you know, you all have a lot of positive energy. You know, you are, you know, have an amazing self-confidence. Continue being self-confident, okay? You are, um... You're very passionate. You're determined. You know, I don't want them to have, I don't want their behavior, this person's fixation on you to cause you to have any outburst. Okay. Trust me when I tell you that karma is coming back real strong because their planet is in retrograde right now. Whew. Oh my goodness. You know, I wouldn't want to be them to be honest. Let's pull another one. Look, power. Listen, let them fade to black like this card is. This is power, right? You have 10. The root number of 10 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. They know that you're number 1. They know that you're number 1. They're hovering at a low frequency right now, and they can't even figure out what the heck is happening. You know, it would be in their best interest... Again, I'm not even going to go there about their best interest. They just send them to the um, the Capricorn reading for this week, and they'll see what I'm talking about. But, but um, again, you're a star. Your life is in full balance. You're looking back at your former self. Your love for yourself is on 10. You're, like, really loving yourself right now. There's a lot of self-confidence. People don't even see when you're by yourself that you really, you cried. You cried about some things. You were really, really hurt. But I'm telling you, hey, listen. Again, protect your gifts at all costs because your money is attached to this. And I'm not talking about a little bit of money either. Like this is strength and this is a money tree, but this is the vault right here. This is how close you are. This is why you need to protect your gifts at all costs. That is what I have for you, Aries. I am so happy for you, but I need you to, um, you know, not be fearful, not doubt any of this. 
Um, but as far as this this particular Capricorn, again, I don't know. It may they may not have Capricorn as their sun sign. It could be Moon rising Venus or somewhere else in their chart. But this person is so fixated on you because you're so happy and you're just exuding all this positivity and you're exuding love, love of self, and people are attracted to that. That they're just trying to cause a disruption. Like they're like this little snake down here. They're trying to cause a disruption. You don't need that. You don't need that at all. You know? Um, so don't be fearful about, you know, taking this wand and knocking them out of your life. And if I had any, if I saw any swords cards here in this energy, I would tell them to cut them out of to use that sword to cut them out of your life. But don't be fearful of taking it and you know she, she there's some movement there, right? Because her hair is like flying in the wind. So she's been taking that wand. Just don't be afraid to knock them out of your life completely. Because you don't need that kind of negativity and low vibrating energy around you. But that is what I have for you, Aries. Um, I'm so happy for you. But I want you to stay in your power, okay? Please stay in your power. Do not vibrate at a low frequency. Anybody that is trying to cause you to vibrate at a low frequency, karma is very, very real. Um, anything that they try to do to you, no, they've already done it to themselves. That is what I have for you for all of my Aries. I hope you have a great week. Okay. Bye.